Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a simple lantern today. First of all, the materials you need are some willow, some secateurs to cut the willow, a ruler, some scissors, some masking tape, some tissue paper, and um, some PVA glue, which we will mix with some water and some paint brushes. The last thing is also something to put actually in the lantern to show the light. Um, I, these uh, little battery operated tea lights are ideal, or you can always hang a camping lantern in there as well. So let's clear our workspace. Firstly, take one piece of willow and we're going to bend it at 30 centimetre intervals. Bend until a 90 degree angle. And bend. And bend. And the final one, we're going to measure again to 30 centimetres. And we're going to cut it. Now with our tape we're going to form it into a square. Like that. Now let's take another piece of willow. And we're going to attach it across there to make a cross. Simply attach it. Like so. And then we've got it square. Before we stick this side we're going to put our finger on there and just twist it up. Making sure it's still square. And just tape it on. Like so. Right, we're going to do the same again. Doesn't matter which side you take, but we're going to make the cross. Tape, tape it right into the corner. If you haven't got masking tape, you can also use gaffer tape, which is actually a bit stronger. And again, make sure it's square. It doesn't matter if the cross isn't right in the middle because the willow is not as, always the same. So again, and just stick that into the corner. Like so. Then with the final two corners, we're going to stick well, this is a good example of not a very straight willow, so I'm just going to chop the end off to make that a bit straighter. And then we're going to do that with two of them. We're going to connect these to these corners. Another piece of tape. Doesn't matter if you tape it in the down position because we'll bend it up in a second. Or a piece of tape. I find it easier just to wrap it a little bit first. The next stages we'll pick one up. Make sure it stays stuck. 
same with this one. So then we'll gather all of them together. So they're central, so we just hold it. And what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of tape around the take it to the shortest one. In this case for me it's there. So just tape around there. Then you've got a choice. You can either use some garden wire to tie around here so you can hold it, or if, if it allows us, sometimes it just breaks and it's not so good. Before I do that, actually, it's always a good idea to have a little bit of tape handy. And you can actually try and just gently, and this may break, just twist it, twist it around, and then tape it. You might want a few pieces of tape, just hold it in the right place. Like that. And there you have your basic shape. Right, so take another piece of willow and we are going to form the cross at the top. Um, and it also adds a bit of shape and stability to it. So first of all we measure how far apart we want it and we bend it and the same again then we just bend it to keep it the same all the way through. So bend, bend, oop, bend and bend yet again. So then when we've got that we will then connect, stick this to the structure I can either put it on the inside or the outside, but I'm going to put it on the um, outside. So I'm going to attach that piece first. Like that. Sometimes what makes it a lot easier is if you cut off a few pieces, stick them to the side of the table so you just grab them. So it'll all come into shape in a second. So try and keep that as horizontal as possible. So let's put that on and keep that horizontal. That one okay, and keeping it horizontal. So and then to keep it hopefully that will then hold its shape reasonably well. Now with this one here, we're going to actually fix that over there. So I needed to really cut that first, but we'll cut a piece off there. And put that down across and that will form, that help hold it into its square. So it's a little long, but I'll trim that in a second. Another piece of tape, I'll square it up, hold it in place and just simply tape it. There. Yeah, so that gives you also, not only holds its shape better, but it also gives you something to hang our lantern off. Okay, so the next stage, so that's the basic structure done. The next stage is um, to actually stick on the tissue paper. So with a piece of tissue paper, now there are lots of different ways of doing this. Um, now because of the length we've got it, is the best way to do the, the easiest, probably less messy way to do it is we'll cut to this point here the, the basic shape. For doing that, 
So we want to use as much of the tissue paper as we can. So we just cut around there, and the bottom as well, making sure you've got a little bit of overlap. I mean, another way to do it is actually stick it on first and then cut it once it's on there. Either way, it's going to be, it gets a bit messy. And I'll cut across there. Oops. Okay, so you've got to remember the side, because all the sides are going to be slightly different, so at the moment the side is down. And now I actually need to make up some PVA glue. So again, literally, dog in the here and it's about 50 50 um, so it's about half PVA glue and half water I'm just going to grab the water which I almost prepared earlier so I literally just add that Half chain of that. Now for this first section stage, I'm just going to literally just mix the water into the glue. So there are different ways of doing it. You can completely paste up the uh, tissue paper first, then put it on. Or what I'm going to do is this way, which is to put a bit of PVA glue over the side that I've just measured against. Like that, and lay that over there. Hopefully, we cut it correctly. It should fit quite nicely, as you see. Keeping it reasonably tight, like that, and then you can go over it along the edges again, like that. And then we're going to do that for each and every side and then again we're going to, I'll show you that in a second. So the other bits you can just fold over and just so it holds on. Doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of overlap, you don't want too much otherwise it, the light doesn't shine through so well. Just make sure it all just holds on like so. Okay, I'm going to now cut all the other sides and stick that on. I'll be back to you in a minute when we're ready to go for the rest of it. So as you see, I've now covered all, all the sides doing exactly the same technique. And I've literally just got one side left. So literally again, just, you know, I'm getting the right sizing. This one will adjust a bit more in a second. The thing to bear in mind is as soon as the tissue paper gets even slightly damp it gets very very difficult to cut. As you can see now this doesn't cut at all well because it's got damp from the PVA glue. But if we cut that off, just get the right sizing. So it's easier to cut it off now than it is once you've got PVA glue on it. So literally just cutting up. You can see it's already got some glue on it, so it's getting quite difficult to cut. Okay, pull that off. And as before, just wipe the PVA glue around the sticks. Match that up against the side. Smooth it down. Move it down. See these final bits get a little bit more messy. Just make sure that all the edges are down properly. You can't. It's more difficult to avoid overlaps up the top bits because they're narrower. All right. So there we have completely covered. Now I won't for. I go any further, you would do this later on normally, and I would advise if you've got some gaffer tape, you can gaffer tape to stick this on, 
but simply um, you can literally just to show you the rough idea stick that on to the cross like that and then you can um, put it on but I won't do that now because I'm literally about to as I say you're better off doing this once the whole lantern is dried um, so the next stage is the larger brush is to then brush the whole every bit of it to make sure um, it's all covered because this adds it makes it go tighter and it also waterproofs it as well it also makes it go see-through okay as you need it I'm going to use this little brush so the brush isn't very good and this is where you need the Make sure it's pretty well in the water. So try to make sure every bit of it is covered. You'll see the mist bits anyway. Okay, now I'll carry on doing that and once it's dry I'll show you the finished result. And here's the final lantern finished. And you can always improvise what sort of light you put in there.